Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Today I'm coming to y'all with a quick video just to encourage you guys um, in this new year. We're about a week into the new year right now and I just want to let y'all know that although it's a new year, God is still the same. New year, same God. During the new year, a lot of people focus on resolutions. I'm going to lose 20 pounds this year. I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year. I'm going to read more. I'm going to write more. I'm going to pour into myself. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to church. I'm going to do all these different things and we come up with all of these resolutions, all of these goals, but I'm here to just remind y'all that it's great to have goals, but do not let your goals discourage you. You know, you might have a goal that's so big, and for example, my sister has a goal that she wants to run 365 miles this year. So she's encouraged a bunch of different people to, um, you know, go out on that goal with her. I wanted to do it as well. I could be very overwhelmed by 365 miles. Did I even run 20 miles last year? You know, sometimes a goal is very good, it gets you going, it gets you excited, but it can, it can sometimes be a bit daunting and overwhelming. So do not be overwhelmed by your goals. Take things day by day. Let's say you wanna run 365 miles and you miss a day. Don't worry so much about what you miss. Don't worry so much about missing the mark. If you miss the mark one day and, and you wanted to run and you wanted to work out and you did it, don't feel like you're not gonna reach your goal because you fell short one day. Keep going, keep pushing forward, and let's say that you ran 360 miles and you didn't re run 365, but let's say you just ran 300 or 200. Think about how great that is in comparison to how much you did last year. You know, sometimes in the new year, we get so caught up on our goals that we forget that even if we fall short, we're so much further than we were the year before. So. I think that resolutions are great. I think that they can be very inspirational and very motivational, but don't let them keep you down and don't become discouraged and overwhelmed by your goals. So if you have resolutions for this year, that is fine, um, but just take things day by day. So if one day you fall short, keep going. Every day is different. Every day is a new opportunity. Every day is a fresh start. And your yesterday does not have to determine tomorrow. Your yesterday does not have to determine today. If you miss the mark, it is all right. We all miss the mark sometimes, but the people who are great are the people who keep going and the people who are not defined by their past and are not defined by their mistakes. Um, I was reading a book and in that book it said that a lot of women tend to feel that their past directly correlates to their future. If they fell short in the past, they're gonna fall short in the future. You know, if they had trouble in relationships in the past, they're gonna have trouble in the future with relationships. But I'm here to just let y'all know that that is not true. Your future is something you don't know what's gonna happen. Your future is something that you don't, you can't see. Your future is so far out of your own realm of imagination that you can only dream about it. And sometimes the enemy will have you lose hope. I think there's so much power in dreaming and, and just having hope for the future. And you know, that's what God wants for us. God wants us to have hope and dream for the future. But the enemy wants you to feel like, Mm, you're still that person that you used to be so you're not going to be able to you know accomplish your goals your goals are too big so maybe scale it down a little bit you know that's the enemy's voice and he wants you to not rise up to your potential God has given us imagination so that we can dream and the devil wants us to have no hope if you feel like you're hopeless you feel like you know 2017 isn't going to be any better than 2016 that's not true. The previous year has nothing to do with the current year. This is a brand new year. This is a brand new start. And your past does not predict your future. If you fell short in, a, in your past relationship, that doesn't mean your next relationship is going to be the same. If you failed a class, that doesn't mean you're gonna fail another class. Um, if you dealt with anxiety, depression, sadness, um, any attack of the enemy, it doesn't mean that you're gonna continue to deal with it in 2017. 2017 is an opportunity for you to speak victory over your life. It's an opportunity for you to really look inside and ask God to help you identify areas that you need to grow in. I know for me, like I pray, but I figure I want to be a prayer warrior. I want to pray so much and so frequently that I don't have any doubts, I don't have any fears, I don't, I'm not anxious about anything, that's what I want to do. If one day I forget to, to write in my prayer journal, I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm going to 
I'm going to make sure that I do it the next day. So I think that goals are great, but the enemy will try and make you feel trapped by your goals. He'll make you feel suffocated by your goals. He'll make you feel like if you miss the mark one day, that it just determines the rest of your day. You missed one mile, so now you're going to have to run two miles one day. How are you going to do that? You can barely run one mile. but. Just be able to recognize that the enemy's attacks on your spirit and don't let him have that foothold in your life in 2017. I know in 2016 that the enemy, he came in my mind and it was a dumping ground for him. He dumped whatever he wanted to dump. He dumped sadness. He dumped, you know, feeling overwhelmed. He just polluted my mind with all these negative things like a bit of hopelessness, not knowing what's coming next, anxiety about the future. But God is so great that even when we don't realize that we're being attacked, he still provides for us, he still protects us, he helps us even when we don't ask for it. That's what being a child of God means. And the greater that you grow in your walk with the Lord, the more the enemy is gonna try and stop you. I've made a lot of Christian videos over the past month, okay? And I have been attacked severely because of it. The enemy does not want me to come on here and tell y'all the freedom that God is helping me to experience. I'm telling you these things because I want you guys to experience it for yourself. I'm sharing my testimony with you guys so that maybe somebody will take something from what I'm saying. But the enemy does not want me to do that. He discourages me every time I'm going to film a video. He makes me just feel like really bad you know like earlier today I felt great I'm like I'm gonna film this video I'm so excited and about 15 20 minutes before I was gonna start I felt really down I'm like dang like maybe I shouldn't film today that's a trick of the enemy so whatever goals you have do not let him stop you because what if you pushing through is the blessing that somebody else is waiting for what if somebody's watching this video right now and, and what I've said so far is really helping them to see things differently the enemy doesn't want you to prosper into 2017 but God is the same he doesn't change he is victorious he has won he has defeated the enemy so it's a new year but it's the same God so in 2016 there are a lot of times when when i needed god more than ever he showed up he's going to do the same in 2017. there are so many times when i felt really low and i turned to god to build me up he built me up and he strengthened me right he's going to do the same in 2017. there's so many areas of my life that god has helped me with he showed me parts of my heart that needed to be you know transformed he's going to do the same in 2017. if you had a rough year in 2016 your year in 2017 is going to be better. It's not going to be the same. It's not going to roll over. It's not one of those things where like whatever you were dealing with rolls over until the next year. That's just not the case. It's a brand new year. It's a brand new start. We're one week into the new year. God is going to provide for you. Your past does not predict your future. That is a lie. That's what the enemy tries to tell people. It's not true. You know, who you used to be is not who you are in God. What you used to do is not what you have to do. You can separate from your past. Your past does not have to have bondage on you. And if you feel like it does, you turn to God, you pray, you say, God, show me the areas of my heart that are keeping me from growing in relationship with you. God, show me the ways in which you want me to progress. Show me in the ways that I'm holding back. Show me how to surrender to you. Show me how to follow you. Teach me how to love you. Teach me how to love others. Be specific in your prayers and God will come through for you. But you have to be willing to turn to him first because I know for myself, I can't do any of this on my own. I can't. I am just not strong enough. Secrets out. I'm not strong enough. But God, he's the same. He's consistent. He doesn't change. He's omnipresent and he is amazing. And he has so much grace for me that he continues to strengthen me even when I don't deserve it. He continues to forgive me even when I don't deserve it. That's what unconditional love is and that, that is what God is. And that is what is coming for you in 2017. 2017 is a year for you to transform. 2017 is a year for you to grow in a deep relationship with the Lord. 2017 is of hope. If you feel like the enemy stole your hope in 2016, like you don't have anything to look forward to, you don't know what's coming, you're scared of the future, 2017 is the time that you grow in your relationship with God and you let him fill you with hope. Because hope doesn't just come out of nowhere. You have to ask for it and he'll teach you how to have it. And just recognize like if there's things that you're dealing with in your head, like just bad emotions, negativity, that's not of God. Pray that he helps you to 
um, overcome those areas and he will he will help you and he will strengthen you focus on how far you've come have a goal and break it down so for example running 365 miles a year that's a huge goal that's overwhelming at first you can think about it and be like okay how am I going to run one mile every single day do I have to go to the gym every single day don't even think about it that way. Break it down. Take a big goal and break it down bite size. And think, okay, I just have to run seven miles this, this week. That sounds a lot easier and a lot more manageable than I have to run almost 400 miles this year. I can barely get through half a mile. Focus on taking things step by step. Step by step. Do not be overwhelmed by your goals. It is great to have goals, but do not let them overwhelm you. Do not let them consume you. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Growing comes with growing pains. So whenever you're growing, you're being stretched, you're being pulled, you're, you're, you're a bit uncomfortable. That's okay. God has to put you through some things to develop you so that you can be who he's called you to be. But that's what's on the other side of growth. You have to go through uncomfortable seasons. In 2016, I had a lot of uncomfortable seasons. I felt really uncomfortable during at times. I felt very trapped at times. I wondered, am I going to meet the right guy for me? And, but I knew deep down in my heart that I would. I had hope that I would and God has delivered on that promise. Don't be afraid of the future. Don't be worried about what's coming because we are unable to see into the future. It just, it is what it is. But trusting in God and believing in God, He is the author of the future. Find peace, find comfort in the fact that he does not want to hurt you. He wants to help you. Like I've said before, being a Christian does not mean that life is going to be easy. It doesn't. But it means that you will have a support system. You will have a God who strengthens you. You will have a God who comforts you, that heals you, and allows you to go through life in a way where your joy is not taken. Turn to God. New year, same God. So I just wanted to leave you guys with a quick scripture. It's one of my favorite scriptures. And it's Jeremiah 29, 11, And this is in the New International Version. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So it says here that God has plans to prosper you. He has plans to not harm you. He has plans to give you hope and a future. What a great God. Like, He has shown up for me time and time again. I'm in a season now where I have decided to follow God's will. I decided to leave my job, leave where I was living, leave the state, move away, and follow God's will. He's been taking care of me, He's been providing for me, and He will do the same for you. So, 2017, who knows what's coming, you know? But with God, you will get through it. God is the same. New year, same God. He is the same. He is faithful. He is everything that you need and he is available. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to apply online. You don't have to prove to God how willing you are. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is turn to him and ask him to fill you. Ask him to help you and he will do it. He's done it for me. My life has been transformed and in 2017 your life can be transformed as well. That's pretty much all I have for you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with somebody if you think that it would help them starting the new year and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed because I'm aiming to post one video a week. I've been doing it for like the past four to five weeks and it seems like you guys really like it so just give this video a thumbs up let me know that you like it and I will keep trying to reach my goal of one video a week. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!